If you're a beginner reach player and you want to build your confidence in figuring out what direction to go when you first get your drawn tiles, consider trying random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. So we're going to do these random pulls. We'll do six and I'll try to do them in 15 minutes. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. I have a Hanchen indicator here. So we'll just alternate between east and south. And I have some Tenbo. And I'm just going to move these as they count how many random pulls I've done. So we're going to do the first one. And I'm just going to roll the dice to randomize which seat I'm in. So I rolled a six. That would be south. So we'll just say that we're going to be in south seat and it's east round. As an on dealer, we get 13 tiles. For this random pull, I think I would try to stack Yaku. I would play all cheese, which is called Pinfu, and Sanshoku. That would be the same chi in each suit. We have a one, three, one, two, two, three. So we have one, two, three, four, five blocks. Then we would just need a pair in here somewhere. Now we're south, so we would have to discard this south because you cannot have a valued pair. So we would need a number tile or a seat wind that is not south for a non-value pair. So that's what I would try here. Anytime you can stack Yaku, do it. If you would do something differently here, let me know. Okay, let's go to the next one, south round. And the next time we're going to be in seat seven, so that would be west. Oh, I forgot to draw Dora. Green dragon. We didn't have any red dragon. Let's see, red, white, green, red. So we didn't have any red dragons, so Dora did not apply that time. At least regular Dora. Uradora, when you play, could apply. If you want to know more about Uradora, just look for the lesson playlist under the video. Non-dealers get 13 tiles. Let's say Dora is two. I would play Pinfu here. We not only have Dora right here, but we also have Akadora. So since we're west, this is not a valued tile, so we could even leverage that, but I'd probably go ahead and throw that first because I want to give myself as many opportunities for cheese as possible. We might even be able to play all simples, which is called Tanyao. We have a 2-4, so that is a chi. Here's a 6-8. That is, well, that's a potential chi, let me just say. This is a potential chi. Here we have a potential chi with either two, three, four, or four, five, six. And then here we have a potential chi. So let's say we have one, two, three, four blocks. We need a pair. So if we get rid of these nines and then just try to get a pair of either the two crack or north, we could play pinfu, which is all cheese. Now with pinfu, you need a side weight. This is a side weight right here, the five, six, as is the four, five. So that means that you need a tile for either side of that set of tiles. So this, for example, is a closed weight where we need the tile in the middle to complete it. So when you play Pinfu, you've got to plan it out so that your weight is a side weight. So that's what I would do here. 
a let's see um all simples pin fu and two door tiles that would be a four han hand which is nice and then since oh and reach so that would be mangan five han and the chance of ura dora if you would have done something differently here write it in the comment section So for the next one, east round, seat 10. Seat 10 would be south. So we'll say we're in south seat and it's east round. White dragon is Dora. No Dora. So we're in south seat. We do have a south. I might consider playing a half flush, but we would have five discards. Let's look at the blocks we would have if we played pin fu. We have a four that's isolated. We have a pair that's isolated as is the eight. Here's a potential chi and here's a potential chi. I suppose this could be a potential chi also. So we would have one, two, three blocks and then pair up. If we get rid of the nine also, we could maybe collect all two through eight, which are called simples for Tan Yao. I think what I would probably do is get rid of these honors and try for Pin Fu here. Pin Fu and Reach. There'd be a lot of drawing to do because we have so many isolated tiles and I would love to stack another Yaku and get rid of that nine. But I would keep it, stay flexible, depending on what happens at the table. So if you would do something different here, let me know in the comment section. South round, fourth random pull, and let's just say we're in seat 10. Seat 10 again is south. Red dragon is Dora. We have Dora. And there's a green dragon and a pair of east. We're in seat two and it's south round. So that wouldn't bring a fawn per se. However, it would help us get to a half flush. We do have a pair of sevens though. We could play all pawn. Here's a pair, here's a pair, here's a pair. But let's look at the chi potential. There's one two and a potential pawn. So we have one, two, three, four, five blocks, including Dora. So I think what I would do is discard the seven dot first. Then I probably would discard the green dragon because it's the door indicator. There are only three left and the chances of pairing it up for a pawn is pretty slim. So I think I would get rid of that next and then hold these try to draw in more bams or a red dragon of course i would probably pwn here pwn here chi chi that's what i would do with this random pull if you would do something different write it in the comment section oh that would be half flesh and dora so let's say that would be uh two fawn a half flesh is wait a minute is a half flesh one fawn Half flush is two fawn. So that would be two, three, three fawn. Fifth one. Let's say we're in seat three. So that would be west.
Four dot is Dora. And we're in East Round. No Dora. We have a pair of two dots. With that indicator being a three dot, the chances of getting a chi is not as likely. Look at all these cracks and pairs. So we have one, two, three, four pair. I think I would try for Chitoitsu. Chitoitsu is seven pair. So I think what I would do, since it's east round, I think I would hold that. Get rid of these, try to get more pairs, and play Chitoitsu. If I drew in more cracks, I might even sacrifice the two dot for a half flush. If you would do something different here, write it in the comment section. South round, and let's say we're in seat nine, which is west. Whoops. Let's just say nine bam is Dora. No nine bam, but we do have a lot of dots. I think I would try for pin foo here, get rid of the green dragon probably the nine crack and play Tan Yao and Pin Fu. We have a block here, so we have some chi potential. Here we have two, three, four, right there. There's a potential chi and here's a potential chi. One, two, three, four, five blocks. So I would discard the green dragon and the nine crack and try for Pin Fu. This is a side weight, so that and so is this actually, but we would want the six dot, not the nine dot, because then we would lose Tan Yao, which is all simples. All simples are two through eight. So we'd have to get rid of this nine crack. So let me know what you think about these random pulls. I personally think it's very helpful and I recommend that you try it if you're a beginner and you have a set at home. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell. When you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Reach. May all your picks be keepers.